Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, hey, internets. And welcome to another episode of O-Dub Opens Some Shit. And today is Ikoria Theme Boosters Day. I ordered this uh, pre-order. I actually got it in over a week ago. And I've just been so busy that I haven't been able to open it. And today, I carved out some time and here we go. So I'm actually, I'm gonna open all 12 of these today, <clears throat> which I'm kind of excited about because I have never opened an entire theme booster like this. So that's kind of cool. I'm looking forward to it. So how are y'all feeling out there about Ikoria? You like it? Well, if I'm perfectly honest, and I do try to be honest, uh, in general, I'm not too crazy about the art in this set. Um, it feels a little... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It feels maybe a little generic in the sense that, uh, you know, a lot of these cards, they could have just as easily been in Eldrain or Battle Bond or Kaladesh. Um, you know, there's uh, like Snare Tactician. He totally could have been an Ixalan, you know? Um, I don't know. I guess like flavor-wise, like with the art, I'm not head over heels. Uh, but I, I do like uh, some of the artwork. Uh, the, the Mythic creatures, I don't think any of them look particularly cool. Uh, I do really like those Mythos cards. So I've got to give a shout out to Seb McKinnon about those Mythos cards because they look absolutely awesome. So let's take a quick look at these theme boosters here. Let's see if we can get a focus there. What does this say on the bottom? No, we can't get a focus. All right. Well, these, uh, I assume, are going to have 35 cards just like the last uh, theme boosters. And then one of these is probably going to have two rares in it. So I don't know which one it's going to be, obviously. Let's get, uh, let's get to opening these things because I don't want to dilly-dally too long here. But yeah, those, those Mythos cards that Seb McKinnon did, those are really cool looking. Um, I also liked the artwork on Song of Creation and Obosh the Prey Piercer. Those were both pretty cool. And what else did I like? Wow, this is, I don't like this packaging at all. This is, it's all at the bottom. Hang on. Sorry guys, I've not opened any of these before and I haven't watched any openings. So maybe I'll figure out a, oh, I feel like I'm destroying the cards. I don't like this packaging. All right. Um, <clears throat> I do like to count my uncommons when I open these too, because I'm always interested in how many uncommons we get. But uh, Song of Creation and Obosh, the Prey Piercer, pretty cool looking cards. The Luminous Broodmoth is a cool looking card. Um, and then there's this one really creepy card, uh, Call of the Death Dweller. Man, I swear, I, if I ran into that thing when I was taking the trash out, I would shit myself. All right, what's going on here? So we've got Storm Wild Caprador. We had a uncommon right there in the window. A alternate art Vulpakeet. Two in a row, actually. I don't know if that's worth anything. Probably not. Two Splendor Mains in a row. Will of the All Hunter. A Flourishing Fox. So that was a good run of uncommons right there. We've got another alternate art. I think that's alternate art. Adaptive Shimmer. Snare Tech. See, that's the one I was saying. Like, that could have totally been an Ixalan, right? I mean, he's um, he looks like a pirate. He's on a ship. I don't know. Flourishing Fox again. Valiant Rescuer. Keen Sight Mentor. These cards feel pretty good. Majestic Oricorn. And a Dranith Magistrate is my first rare. 
And I don't think that's on the list of, oh, double rare right there. Kahira, the Orphan Guard. So that was, that was pretty sweet. I got a double rare on my first pack. And I don't think any of those cards are worth anything, though. So, but that's okay. That's kind of cool, though. I got a double rare right there. So here's a, a quick little printout of the cards that are all worth more than $5 uh, as of the making of this video. And, yep, these guys aren't on there. But that's pretty cool that I, I got a, uh, a companion and a uh, Draneth Magistrate. And then I also had, let's count these uncommons real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uncommons. So three packs worth of uncommons and a double rare. So I just opened the white. Let's do uh, things in color cycle. So let's go ahead and do blue. Now what's the easiest way to open these? I'm sorry, people. These things are, are ridiculous. Oh. Here, let's just try from the bottom here. See if I can just rip that shit. Like, yeah, let's just rip that shit like that. Okay. And, wow, I don't like these packs. Oh. All right. All right. Crustacean. Oh, so yeah, the art, um, not overall, not terribly happy with the art. <clears throat> um, the companion mechanic, I've gotten to play a lot on Arena. And I, so... The companion mechanic is, it's it's something, when something powerful comes out in Magic, the typical reaction seems to be horror and recoil from the play community. People generally don't like the change, so it's not surprising that people don't like the companion mechanic. And, but, you know, I agree and disagree with it, with, with people's sentiment, like, I think what they just need to do is if you play a companion card, you only get to draw six. Boom. Problem solved. Uh, giving people an eighth card is just bullshit. That's straight up is bullshit, and they shouldn't have done that. And that's my opinion on it. But I think it's easily fixed, and I think it could be a really fun uh, thing for the game. So there's our first uncommon, Wingspan Mentor. And then we got another uh, special art, Dreamtail Heron. I don't know how common those are in the booster packs. Maybe that's something in the theme boosters. You get more of these alternate arts. Um, I haven't watched really any opening videos, so I'll, I'm interested to see if they do anything special for these theme boosters. There's a pouncing shark. Stupid looking artwork. Oh, Wingspan Mentor. I think we already saw that. Escape Protocol. So that is one thing that kind of sucks is you'll get a lot of duplicate uncommons. Neutralize, Mystical Subduel, Renacon Ren Reconnaissance Mission, um, and Ominous Seas. Oh, sweet. All right. We got ourselves a uh, Griuda, Doom of Depths. Uh, that looks like the regular art, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, and a Sea Dasher Octopus. So, does each of these now have two rares? Because that makes them a lot better deal if it does. So got a Griuda. That's pretty sweet. And let's count these uncommons again real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten uncommons and one of the special art. So I'm liking the way this has started off so far. Um, <clears throat> double rare in both packs. So it says here on the back, uh, there it is, it says at least one rare or mythic rare card. Um, I've already hit doubles twice, so that's... I, I don't know if I'm lucky or if that's just the new normal. God, these things are... Fuck. <sighs> Sorry. I don't know, maybe I need to bring an axe or something or a fucking chainsaw. You know, I, it's one of the things I like about the boosters is they just rip right open. This is this is very well packaged. Like, good job, Wizards. I mean, you protected the hell out of these cards. And I will say, uh, the feel of these Ikoria cards is pretty good. Um, 
the 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 touch on them and the thickness and the weight on them. I don't know if they did a better job printing these Ikoria cards or what. Oh, and by the way, I really would love to open at least one of those special lands, those triomes. I'm gonna have to buy play sets of all of them. Cavern Whisperer, alternate art, so there's a first. That was, okay, so this is the thing, like, if I was taking out my trash on a Thursday night and this motherfucker popped out at me, dude, my, my pants are gone. They're gone. I, they're getting, I'm just, I'm deucing in them. That's all that's happening. Got to throw them away at that point. That dude's pretty scary looking too, the Chittering Harvester. And uh, so we got three uncommons in a row there. He's creepy too. So they they did have some good creepy black cards in this set. Um, I think that Grim Dancer looks pretty creepy. Decent removal in the common slot with the uh, blood curdle there. I like that when I'm drafting. Dusk Fang Mentor. Void Beckoner. So he's the one who's got the horrible printing with the word, the C word in it that I don't even know if I'm allowed to say, so I won't say it. Unbreakable Bond. Bastion of Remembrance. Easy Prey. Bastion of Remembrance again. Another Blood Curdle. Heartless Act. Insatiable Hemorrhophage. Unbreakable Bond. And Extinction Event. Okay, so I only got one rare in that pack. Uh, so that that's cool, I guess, or not cool, whatever have you. So if we we're counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen uncommons. So we got a whole bunch of uncommons in the pack that didn't have a double rare. I wonder if that means anything. So the, the double rare packs had what, nine and 10 uncommons, and then the non double rare pack had 13. Let's get the, uh, the accountants out. Start counting these beans and let's figure this out. Let's crack the code. Let's crack the wizard's code, man. All right. Blister, spit, gremlin. The mutate mechanic is all right. Um, the thing I don't like about it the most, I would say, is, you know, you're never supposed to put all your eggs in one basket. And <clears throat> you're combining your assets and you're putting two cards together. So now you're giving people like double the value when they use removal. Cloud Piercer, that looks pretty slick. Frill Scare, so that was our first uncommon. Frill Scare Mentor. Momentum Rumbler. Clash of Titans. So yeah, this red art, a lot of it's not doing anything for me. So there's another dinosaur. So again, that could have totally been out of Ikoria. Um, Clash of Titans again. These cards do feel thick. Like the snap on them feels better than uh, some of the other sets I've opened, I feel, recently. They, they do. Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. Reptilian Reflection. Sonorous Howl Bonder. Footfall Crater. There's a lot of uncommons in this one. Rooting Moloch. That dude. See, like, I can imagine him, like, jumping out of my cabinet with a box of cereal or something, scurrying off. Porky Parrot. I don't think I've seen this. I've been drafting it on Arena, and I don't think I've seen this card yet. Oh, that's kind of weird. So mutate for three, and this creature deals X damage to any target when X is the number of times a creature is mutated. Oh, so, okay. All right, so you, basically it's a, okay, I get it. 
Interesting. That's a neato card. I like that. Repti I think there's only one more card, so I think I'm only getting one rare here. Yadaro, Wandering Monster, a legendary dinosaur turtle. Not cool, man. Not cool. So in that red pack, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve again. So we saw twelve uncommons in the non double rare packs. Wow, this is taking forever, people. I'm sorry. I didn't realize this was going to take forever. I'm already on 16 minutes, and I spend half of my time just trying to open these damn things. <clears throat> and I'm just like strolling through these packs like it's memory lane. Like, where's Mary Poppins? Ugh. All right. I'll try to step it up just a little bit here. All right, here we go. Auspicic, auspicious Starix was my first unco uh, uncommon there. There's a alternate art migratory great horn. Glowstone recluse. Monstrous step. Exuberant wolf bear. Barrier Breach. Lead the Stampede. Charge of the Forever Beast. Migration Path. Charge of the Forever Beast again. Hornbash Mentor. Alert Heed Bonder. Monstrous Step. Migration Path. And my first mythic, Cheville, Bane of Monsters, who is not on the list of cards worth more than $5. So he's worth less than 5 bucks. All right, so on that pack, how many uncommons did we get with the mythic? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13. So I'm starting to see a, a trend here. The non double rare packs uh, have like 12, 13 uncommons. Could that be a thing? I don't know. So I don't know what's going on with this one. This one's got all the colors on it. Um, so um, I maybe you were more likely to get a one of the land cards in this one. That would make me happy. Oh my golly, it'd be so cool to open up like an alternate art triome. That would make me very happy. All right. So would I pay? What are they now at Target? Are these nine bucks a piece or eight fifty a piece or something? I don't think I'd pay that for this. Um, it is a fun product. So there's an uncommon out the gate. And then we got another great horn, another Vulpakeet. Easy prey. Trumpeting Gnar. I don't know. It's, I mean, granted, I'm here I am opening a fucking case and I'm like, I don't think I'd buy them. Obviously I bought it, but I bought it more for the entertainment value and, and the fun opening it. On, on the channel, um, it's just not good, like from a return on investment standpoint, I don't think this product is worth what they charge for it. Um, you know, it's okay, it's, it's fun, to, maybe I'll open two rares, but you could just buy two booster packs for less than the cost of one of these, and you're gonna get two rares, so I, you know, I know it's like, oh, but I can I can pick black and make sure I get a black rare. But even so, it's just, I don't know. I don't know why I bought this. Um, I'm definitely uh, probably, uh, well, I definitely am reselling the sealed box that you may have noticed in the background. So I will resell that. I'm not going to open both of them. Uh, Footfall Crater, and then one rare, the Cub, 
Warden was my rare in that multicolor pack. Wah, wah. So, in that multicolored pack, how many uncommons did we have? We had, let's get that focus in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it was eleven in a single rare. All right. So I hope I didn't open the only two double rares in those first two. That would kind of suck, wouldn't it? This is a serious. I don't like this packaging. Did I, did I tell y'all I don't like this this packaging? I don't. It is horrendous. The ones you get at Target are much easier to open than this. Unless they change those too. I don't know. I guess they could have changed those too. All right. So we're starting off with blue. Probably should have started off with white. I mean, I guess we're going to finish with white. Is that what's going to happen? Am I out of pie order now? Do I just need to delete the video and walk away? I probably should. I just messed it all up. Archipagor. Reconnaissance mission. Two dream tail herons in a row. Alternate art. That's weird. A neutralize. Which, uh, can we back up a second? I'm sorry. This is weak art for a counterspell, okay? That dude's like, Aah. I mean, he doesn't look like he's in control of anything. I don't want this dude representing me. And it looks like he's supposed to be the one who's shielding and protecting himself, so I don't want to be that putz. Polywog symbiote. Archibagor again. Avian oddity. Escape protocol. Ominous seas. Boon of the wish giver. And... <laughs> Dude, isn't that the same weak-ass rare I got in the last blue pack? A sea dasher octopus. Whoopty fucking do. All right. So that blue pack had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this one only had nine uncommons, and I only got one very shitty rare. So there goes that theory. So there goes that theory. All right. Now we're opening black. I guess we are going to finish with white. You know what? No. We're gonna open white, hang on. I already messed it up, but let's let's open white. Let's rewind here. Let's pretend that three minutes ago when I opened that, that blue pack that I was actually opening this white pack. And right now I'm actually opening the blue pack. And yeah. Okay, so this was my white pack. I got a multicolored card in the window. So they do cross over in these single color packs. Yeah, it's, I guess it's good to know. Jubilant Skybonders, our first uncommon. Another Vulpakeet. I guess I'm gonna sell a playset of Vulpakeet's special art. Keensight Mentor. Checkpoint Officer is a bomb in draft. I love that card. Sanctuary Lockdown, another Vulpakeet. Will of the All Hunter. Stormwild Caprador. Swallow Hole. Keen Sight Mentor. Sanctuary Lockdown. Fight is one. All right, Mythos of Snapdax. So this is great, because I was talking earlier, my favorite art in this set are these Mythos cards. And if you look at them, uh, you know, the beasts in these Mythos cards are the mythic rare creatures. So this is like cave paintings of those mythic rare creatures. And I just love the character on these and 
Uh, Seb McKinnon is a great artist. Uh, shout out for making these. These these win the flavor of the whole set, in my opinion. Um, all right, so how many uncommons did we get out of that pack? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, my theory is totally debunked. Double rares do not mean less uncommons, because sometimes you get less uncommons on a single rare pack. Glad I got one of those Mythos cards. I wanted to see one of those up close. I want. I really want to see a Triome, too. Um, so something else I've noticed, and another reason why these theme boosters are probably not a good buy, I haven't seen a single foil yet. So I don't think they put foils in these, um, which I think that's kind of crummy. Um, it's, yeah, it's, uh, I feel like that reduces the value on these as well. Uh, alternate art cavern whisperer. They're really pushing those common alternate arts. Um, a lot of the same uncommons as the last pack. Grim dancer again. Yep. So seeing a lot of the same uncommons. Dusk Fang Mentor. Void Beckoner again. He who shall not be named. Unbreakable Bond. Easy Prey. Another Call of the Death Dweller. All right, got a double rare. Um, so the first one here is a Hunted Nightmare. And all right. Okay, so he's my favorite art out of all the companions. So pulling one of these out is pretty cool for me. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't know. He just, he reminds me of something out of the Matrix, you know? Um, it's just terrifying. Looks like he's going to zap you with energy or I don't know. He's a cool card. I am very tickled that I got that uh, right there. That's cool. So how many uncommons were in this one? We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven uncommons. Totally shattering my double rare theory. So I just keep proving myself wrong. This is great. This is so great. Oh, wow. I love it. So we've got three more of these to go. We got red, which we're opening now, green, and the gold. I have not gotten a single of the rare land cycle, which I'm not very happy about. Um, and I'm trying to remember if I've ever pulled any of the land cycle cards out of any theme boosters ever. I'd have to go back and watch my stuff and see. But like, I don't know if I ever pulled a shock land out of a theme booster or anything like that. So I'd really like one of these triomes. So we got the Porky Parrot right there in the window. Alternate art, two alternate art cloud piercers. And Momentum Rumbler. Clash of the Titans. Frill Scare Mentor. Flame Spill. Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. Porky Parrot again. Frill Scare Mentor again. Weaponize the Monsters. Rooting Moloch. The dude who's hopping out of my cupboard with the cereal. But he's not uncommon. Sanctuary Smasher. Reptilian Reflection. Rooting Moloch. And the same broke ass motherfucker I got in the last one. Yadaro Wandering Monster. What a pile of shit. Thanks, Wizards. Sorry, I hit 30 minutes there and it cut out. Um, so you might notice a blip in the video. So that red pack with the shitty rare, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13 uncommons. All right, two left. Two left. Green and then gold. And I still haven't hit a triome. Uh, my one mythic was... What was my one mythic? My one mythic was just okay. It was that uh, black green bounty hunter or some shit like that. All right. Last two packs. Thank you for uh, hanging out with me and opening some theme boosters. Again, every time I open one of these packs, the, the cards feel good. I'm interested to see if the cards out of the boosters feel this good. Um, um, maybe I'll do some research and see if, uh, again, two of the same. They like to do that. Uh, I wonder if they put a little extra effort into these or if these are from Japan or something. I hear that the Japanese printers produce a better quality card. I don't know if that's true. Uh, but these are, these feel nice. Uh, let's see. Ivy Elemental. Horseback, Mentor, and Charge of the Forever Beast, Titanoth Rex, and one rare, Colossification. Oh, wow. So these, this has been um, mostly just not a good opening in my opinion. I'm not very happy with this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven uncommons in that booster. All right, last one. For those of you that stuck it out, let's uh, let's hope we get a home run here. That would be pretty cool to, you know, see some exciting. You know, give me an alternate art rare or something. I I don't know. Just, let's let's make this memorable for the kids. For the kids. Sorry, this, this video is not for kids. This is, uh, all right. Alternate art in the window. Sprite Dragon, that's one of the more valuable uncommons. Regal Ligerator. Necro Panther. A Cloud Piercer alternate art. Majestic Oricorn. Ivy Elemental. Momentum Rumbler. Insatiable Hemophage. Wow, I'm tired. This is exhausting. I'm just gonna need to take a nap. It uh, takes a lot out of you wasting this much money. Monstrous Step. Swallow Hole. All right, we only got one rare, so I think it's green. So thanks everybody for watching. This was an Ikoria theme booster box opening. And our last is a Crystalline Giant. All right, everybody. That was, uh, well, oh, you know what? We, we counted every other pack, hang on. So this, uh, this last pack had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uncommons so there you have it that was an entire theme booster display case 12 packs and let's recap our rares real quick here crystalline giant colossification yadaro haunted nightmare obosh mythos of snap decks chaville bane of monsters he was my only my only mythic Cub Warden, C Dasher Octopus, and Yadaro again. I feel like I'm missing a couple rares there. Hang on. Yeah, I'm missing some stuff. Because we also had Extinction Event, Griuda, Doom of Depths, the Duplicate C Dasher, that's how I knew something was missing, the Dranith Magistrate, and the Kahira, the Orphan Guard. Um, so with that, I'm going to end the video. I uh, hope you all had fun. I did have fun, even though it was a little bit of a bust box. I got a couple of the cards I really wanted. I got one of those mythos and I got the Obosh. 
which I think is really cool art. So all in all, I had fun. I hope you did too. And I hope your polls are better than mine. Peace.